What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and in this video we're bringing you Pioli's 4231. Now if you don't know who Pioli is, he is the man who took AC Milan to the Serie A title just a few years ago and I've decided to recreate his formation because the 4231 is so widely used. Now the difference with this one, it is vertical, it's not short passing, it's get it forward as quickly as you can which means it guarantees you goals. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. Let's show you how we got on, starting with Atletico Madrid. We completed an historic treble. We won La Liga by four points, 90 points with a goal difference of 71. We won the Champions League, beating Barcelona 2-1 in the final, and we won the Copa del Rey as well. And if we go to the um, La Liga st table and we actually look at the, the actual um, the, the breakdown, 100 goals we scored, conceding just 29, which is sensational. And Alvaro Morata, 46 goals in 56 appearances over the season. Memphis Depay as well got 28 which is absolutely brilliant. And on the right wing, Rodrigo De Paul got 25, which is really good. Uh, over in Italy, we couldn't trial this tactic without using AC Milan, and it was a slightly different story, but still uh, just as good as we won the Serie A by a whopping 15 points. Uh, 29 is just the two defeats, a goal difference of 80. Let me say it again, a goal difference of 80. We did get knocked out... Um, of the Champions League uh, early on. I think it was round of 16, but you know, it is what it is. But we did complete a domestic travel with the Coppa Italia and the Coca-Cola Super Cup. And again, if we look at the Serie A table this time, you can see we succeeded just the 15 goals all season, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, and Oliver Giroud got 54 goals over the course of the season which is sensational, 45 of those goals coming in Serie A, absolutely amazing. Now we did also go over to Scotland and try this tactic with Rangers. Um, now in the Cinch Premiership, we finished second, um, 10 points behind eventual winners Celtic, which was a bit of a disappointment. Um, we were knocked out of the qualifying stage of the Champions League, we lost to PSV, um, knocked out of the last the round of 16 in the Europa League but we did win the Premier Sports Cup um, which you know it's not all bad it's still a you know we, we've got a trophy on the board and again if we look at where the goals came from Alvado, uh, Alfredo sorry Alfredo Morales 32 goals Kolak and Kent getting 15 and 14 as well and the final test of this tactic came with Liverpool um, Liverpool is the only one we, well, we won the Community Shield, but if you don't count the Community Shield, we didn't win a trophy. We finished second in the league on goal difference. Now, just to point that out, we drew our last two games, nil-nil, one-all. Had we just won one of them, we'd win the Premier League. We finished runners-up in the Champions League, um, which isn't that bad, really. So it's not a terrible season. And if we look at the squad, who scored the goals? Darwin Nunes, 47 goals in 54 games. Uh, Cody Gakpo, 17. Mohamed Salah, just the 12, but he only played 22 games. So there was an injury there, but that is still mightily impressive. If we look at the um, stages of the Premier League, you can see we conceded 28 goals over the course of the season so let me show you exactly how this tactic works Boring. now the great thing about this tactic is it is a little bit different from others from others because a lot of the tactics you will find are very much pass and move football whereas Pioli wanted to get the ball forward as quickly as he could it wasn't about messing around at the back it was getting it up to that big striker and letting the, mid the midfielders and the wingers feed off him um, and by doing that, it means it created a ton of chances, as you can see. I mean, in the Atleti save, 170 goals were scored by us in that save across all competitions, which is sensational. So let's have a look. It's a 4-2-3-1 with two holding midfielders. Um, now, the, we have a sweeper goalkeeper. You can change him to defend. It's completely up to you. The only reason I like him there is because he is that last line of defense. He'll come outside, he'll clear up the long balls. Two wing backs on the outside, and then we've got a central defender who's got take fewer risks. And I've also set the central defender to mark the opposition striker. Um, and then a ball playing defender who's gonna be closing down more. 
We have a ball winning midfielder uh, who's going to pass it directly. Remember, we want to bypass, we want to be getting it up here. So, normally I would criticize tactics that have an advanced playmaker and a deep line playmaker if they're alongside each other. However, what we want here is the ball being fired into your target forward and really creating um, panic amongst the defense. Next to them, we have the deep line playmaker who again is going to be playing direct passes. Uh, we have an inside forward on the right with no additional instructions. In the middle, an advanced playmaker. So I want him roaming from his positions and moving into the channels. Now, when, it, when they use this system at AC Milan, Brahim Diaz was the key man in this tactic and he was the key man in that system. And he would drift into the holes roam from his position, pick the ball up on the turn, and then run. That is what you want your advanced playmaker to do. On the left, we have an inverted winger who's going to get further forward, and up front, a target forward set to attack, to hold the ball up and really be that, um, that vocal point of your attack. It is a positive mentality, um, as opposed to anything different, because um, I think anything like it just nullifies it, a little, nullifies it a little bit because when you get the ball you do want to attack. We are going to be playing quite narrow so we're going to be playing through the middle um, and we do want to be, as much as playing out of the fence is there, it is going to be for, you know, from the centre backs forward, it's not going to be passing it around the back. Slightly more direct and a slightly higher tempo with being a bit more disciplined and we also want to work the ball in the box because we are trying to create the best openings we can. In transition, we're going to counter press, and then when we win the ball, we're going to counter forward again, and we're targeting to, we're distributing the ball to the target forward quickly. So we're going to get it up there. We're not going to slow it down. And then out of possession, it's a really high press. For quite a lot of the heat maps in these tests that I ran, our team was in the entirety of the opposition's half, and that is what you're looking for. You want them up there, really penning them in, um, and then making them make mistakes. We do want to prevent the short goalkeeper distribution and we are going to step up more. Now what you will find with this tactic is you get quite a lot of yellow cards. So it's up to you whether you stick, get stuck in or stay on the feet on. I don't really have either on because I just think it's a personal preference. But it is completely your choice. Now um, I'll show you the data hub with Liverpool. Um, and you can see what I mean about how good it is attacking. Goals per game, non-expected penalty goals, our defence was good. The shots we had per game, miles above the rest of the league. Where you will struggle is with possession. Now, you will find that you'll have less than 50% possession in the majority of games, and that is because you are just trying to get the ball forward into scoring opportunities, which means it gives the opposition a chance to win the ball back um, a lot quicker than you maybe normally would. But obviously, don't worry about that, because if you're scoring four or five goals a game, what does it matter? And I'll tell you now, you will score four or five goals in, in quite a few games. So that you've got 3 0, 4 1. You do get beat quite heavily occasionally. I mean, 5 0 to United in the Carabao Cup, 4 0 against West Ham, 6 0 against Coventry. Um, in the Rangers save, there was a 9 0. In the AC Milan saves we did, there were a couple of nines, a couple of sevens. So, you know, you will score loads of goals. This tactic is going to be my first tactic that I put out on Sawyer and Sai as well. So it's there, available for you to download. Um, and I will put the link in the description below. All right, then, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you try it and let us know how you got on. And I will see you all in the next video as we bring you the second episode of the Pep Guardiola series. See you all soon.